Hi everyone, in today's video we are going to talk about how to apologize after a huge fight. So if you're watching this video, maybe you just had a huge fight with your partner or maybe you had one in the past and it didn't go so well and you want to get some tools and tips on how to deal with the situation better and that's very wise of you. But before we get started, make sure you click the like button and subscribe to my channel so you can always stay up to date with my latest videos. I am Celine Remy, the Intimacy Angel, and I am here to help you bring your sexy back in life. Now, fights never feel good. They don't really feel good when they're happening and they don't feel good afterwards. And sometimes there are things that are being said that could be really painful and it takes a lot of work to bring the two of you back together to a place where you feel both fully loved and accepted. Research suggests CBD products may improve libido by reducing anxiety. And no, CBD is not psychoactive. It does not get you high. A recent survey of 5,398 Americans from Remedy Review, a website that focuses on CBD and natural health remedies, found that 9.3% of respondents have taken CBD for sex. The majority of those respondents said their orgasms were more intense after taking CBD. If you are interested in experimenting with CBD in your sex life, I have found a top quality CBD product for you. Their full spectrum CBD comes from premium, sustainably farmed hemp plants, which are processed in the United States. Plus, they have no harmful solvents, chemicals, toxic compounds, or impurities. To get up to 51% off while supplies last, go to selinremy.com forward slash go forward slash CBD or click on the link below. So let's say you just had this huge fight. What do you do? The first thing is to take a little bit of time apart until the two of you cool down. Technically, if you've let the fight go this far that you both were like screaming at each other and like raising in your emotions, you've gone too far. You need to stop and you need to take time apart for each one of you to cool down, to recenter, to connect with your own emotions. The rule of thumb is if you are not able to look at your partner's eyes and feel some empathy, you are not yet ready to have a heart-to-heart -heart communication. So give yourself enough time to get to that place where the emotional uh, uproar finally feels like it's settling in and that you are willing to connect with your partner. So let's say you've now reached that place, you both come into that place where, okay, uh, I, I'm willing to connect, I'm willing to own my part. And this is really the first step. If you were at fault, you need to be willing to own your stuff, whatever that was. You also need to be willing to say, I am sorry and take responsibility. This can go a long way. Not just I'm sorry and like not mean it, but if an, an I'm sorry that you really mean it can make a tremendous difference. A lot of people have too much ego and don't want to admit when they were wrong. And here's the thing, sometimes we are wrong. And I'm pretty sure that you didn't set into this fight with your partner because you wanted to hurt them. It just happened because you were triggered and then from that wounded place you reacted and because you were so hurt inside, part of you wanted to hurt them as well so then you could share the misery. So if you can own that part of yourself, own and take responsibility and say I'm sorry, that's going to go a long way. Now you want to look a little bit deeper as well because the fight and the trigger is rarely about what's going on in that moment. It's most of the time due to something that has happened in the past and often like way, way back even in sometimes childhood and we're just recreating a wound and through our partner, we're trying to find a way to heal it and like get it out. 
and if you can with clarity express why that triggered you and maybe the reason or what it brought up or how many times in your life you felt this way and this started when you were x year old and you're realizing that really you're just angry at your father or your mother or authority figure and you're just taking it on to your partner it helps to take a lot of the emotional charge out and it can help your partner to have more compassion for you as well the other part is to speak through the eye and owning things and not just saying you did this and the blaming pointing finger at the other person to own things and saying i i felt this way or i did this because again you are taking full responsibility when you do that the next step is probably the hardest one is to be willing to give empathy and listen to the other person most of the time we want to process our own thing and like this you did some wrong and this and that and listen about me because i need help with dealing with my emotional outburst but really it's about being willing to create a connection with your partner and having empathy doesn't mean that you are accepting or validating the poor behavior. It just means that you're willing to listen and see it through the eyes of another person and just be in their shoes for a few minutes. And if you're able to do that and really listen and listen with the intention of connecting and understanding, not of being right or wrong, then you can come to a place of having a connection, of being understood, because ultimately that's really what we all want. We want to be seen, we want to be loved, appreciated and understood. So if you can give that to your partner, and be basically the bigger person who's willing to put on the empathy hat first and give first before you get anything in return, then your partner will be able to step into their own emotional empathy and then being able to give that to you later as well. Now that you've got all of these pieces in place, so you took responsibility, you own it, you pinpointed it maybe to patterns and took ownership of all of that you also were willing to listen to the other one and give empathy when needed you walked in their shoes as well because i'm sure the fight did not feel good for them as well it's time to reconnect so connect physically while you are discussing even like being sitting next to one another and holding hands or having your knees touching or giving hugs the physical connection will help to melt away the like ickiness or the emotional resentment it will help you bring together like be closer to one another and now that you've cleaned up all of this emotional thing and you're having the connection again, it's important to share some love and remember what brought you together in the first place, going beyond the, the, this stupid fight that just happened. So share things you love and appreciate about each other. Remember the reason why you are together and verbally exchange those with one another so that you can refill your love tank, fill up your heart and feel that you are connected on the same wavelength. If you can do that, then you'll be able to resolve fights much quicker. And ideally then, you want to be able to stop yourself before you go too far, before the fight really goes out of proportion. You can stop it, take some time apart and reconnect. And the more you do that, the more you'll be able to stop before anything starts. And the more you can own your own things, take responsibility and be willing to stay connected, even when things are a little uncomfortable, you will no longer need to fight in order to get some energy from your partner. All right, I hope today's video was helpful. Thank you so much for watching and I'll be seeing you in my next video.